A woman severely burned as a baby is reunited with the nurse who cared for her decades ago. And should we really be taking extra calcium? CBS 2's Lisa Siegel is here with today's Health Watch. Lisa. Hi, you guys, and a really sweet story at the end. Hi, everyone. Well, for many pregnant women, there is nothing worse than morning sickness. But now there may be some help for women with nausea so severe they can't keep anything down. A combination of vitamin B6 and the antihistamine doxylamine may offer some relief. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology now recommending women try this first. There's been a lot of women who've used it and that they've got good data to show that there is no risk to the fetus. Half of all pregnant women experience morning sickness in the first trimester. If you want to avoid medication, doctors say, try natural remedies like ginger and acupuncture. Well, we have all been told to drink milk, right? Or even take calcium supplements to make our bones stronger. But does it really work? Many doctors want people to take up to 1,200 milligrams a day. But experts in New Zealand say calcium intake has almost no impact on bone health for those over 50. What do they say makes a difference in reducing the risk of breaks and fractures? Lifting weights, even light ones. Okay, in our lives, there are many people we owe a big thank you to. For one woman, it is the nurse who took care of her nearly 40 years ago. The only problem, this patient didn't have a name, only pictures. So she used modern technology to help. It was a tearful reunion decades in the making. All stemming from this picture snapped at Albany Medical Center in 1977. The baby in the picture is this woman, Amanda Scarpinotti, who at the time was recovering from third degree burns. For years, this moment captured in time has been a source of comfort and strength for her. You can just see, I just totally trusted her and she soothed me at a time when I needed it. Two weeks ago, Scarpinotti posted this image on Facebook. Within 24 hours, she found out who that mystery nurse was, the one who showed so much compassion. And almost 40 years later, the two met. Oh my God, you're real. <laughs> I had no idea it would have this impact for her, so what may seem like a gift for her has been an amazing gift for me. An amazing gift and reunion that may not have happened if it wasn't for social media. All right, so you look at that picture, and you know what's cool? The nurse, another nurse who worked with her, was actually the one who turned her in. And then we found out that Sue, who is the nurse mm -hmm. in this, has actually been thinking about meeting this baby since she was 21 years old. Oh, wow. I love those so, nurses. Yeah. Isn't Thank that you so great? much. Love that came full circle. Cool. There you go. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks,